Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we have to talk about what we need to have, which are assets, those things that make money while we're sleeping, while we're on vacation, any time of the day or the month, after an initial investment, real estate, Dominican Republic style, we're talking with the lawyer. This is going to be part four where you can learn a lot of the ins and outs and feel a little safer and a little better. And welcome to Fossey Optics. Check. Stop struggling now. Gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's Get to it! see here just curious what's the average cost for a residency about a range hmm. the average cost will be uh 3500 us oh all right all right that's the fees i assume that's the fees yeah absolutely all right that's reasonable that's not out of line okay all right well it doesn't look like we have that many any more real estate questions right now so I just want to ask you something because I did something today. I noticed that the the president of the Dominican Republic uh -huh. came to Punta Cana today. He was out in Vista Cana doing some special event. Uh huh. What's going on that I don't know about? <laughs> well, Vista Cana is, is is a new development that is actually it's actually doing pretty well. It's pretty well, and uh, people are buying. People are buying like crazy this project. And you know, when you see the president coming to uh, uh, an inauguration or an event uh, at a project, he tells you something. It's, it's a very good project, and uh, I have some buyers there too. Yes, exactly. That's right. And speaking of that, I guess uh, since he is my lawyer, I got to talk about it too. Because you know, I got that panorama gardens and I'm waiting on that contract. Yeah. That's the panorama. thing. And, oh, we got cut off a little bit. I yeah. I, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> panorama gardens. So today I was happy when the uh, president, they were promoting panorama lake, panorama garden, panorama park specifically well, for them. The location is great. The location is just gorgeous. It's, it's, it's like 10 minutes to the airport. It's close to the beach. It's close to the downtown. So it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. They're doing, they're, doing, they're doing a lot of great things in there. I visited there a few months ago, and they were just doing great, great, great. Gated community, security guards. They will have shopping centers in front, close walk. Well, very close to the to the mall and all that, so definitely a great location. Exactly, exactly. All right, well, Johan, I want to thank you so much for being here. It looks like no other questions. Oh, wait, hold on. There's always some, as soon as I say no yeah. other questions. Nice. <laughs> I'm always happy to get more. That's right. What's the deal with the Bavaro International Airport? Uh -huh. About future question. developments, are you aware of the Puna Khan area? Okay, I never heard of this one. Yeah, well, definitely yes, I am aware. Um, the this airport is a nice project. They're happy to have it, and uh, they're moving forward. It's it's, it's a big uh, project. It doesn't happen from one day to the other, but they're working on it, and it seems like it's going to be a reality soon. So this is a separate airport from the Puna Cana airport? Yes. So that airport is going to be more north 
and uh, from Punta Cana or north of Punta Cana on the way to Niches. I don't know if you're familiar with the area. I uh, like that. Cabeza de Toro. Um, Ubero Alto. Ubero Alto, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Niches, Ubero Alto. It's like the distance from the airport, from Punta Cana Airport, it'll be basically 25 minute drive to that other airport. It's going to be north. Yes. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yes. Okay, so it's how far is it going to be from Macau? Macau? That is a good thing. It's basically two, three minutes from Macau, depending on the location. Five, uh, five, five to three minutes, two to three to five minutes from Macau. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Victor Marrero once again came up with the sweet spot. Now I got to get a property over in Macau while it's cheap. Yeah, Macau is a good place to invest right now because you're – the style is different. Uh, if you're looking for privacy a little bit, if you're looking for raw land, if you're looking for uh, um, big lanes, this is the right moment to invest in Macau. Properties are cheap at this moment, but they will go up very soon. Oh, yeah. I found out there's supposedly a West End that's going to be there and some other high end yeah. of hotels. Yeah, there's there's some hotels already in the area, and there are more hotels coming. So, Macau is definitely a good place to invest. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to ask because since you do real estate all over the place, mm -hmm. what is considered? I already know Capcana is like an upscale place. Is there any other place that is considered upscale in the Punta Cana area? Well, in Punta Cana, the same community of Punta Cana, because there is a community that is called Punta Cana Resort, that is a high-scale project as well. What's it called? Punta Cana Resorts. Punta Cana Resorts. Yes. I haven't but heard of that one. It is, a, it is a large community. It is part of the uh, same, owner, same owner as the airport, and uh, it's a great place there to Castle de Campo is a, is, a, is, a, is a high end upscale as well, and it's in La Romana, only 40 minutes from here from Punta Okay, all right. And then, of course, I guess you'll know about this Katmandu Park. When is that coming? Well, there, I don't know exact dates, but uh, those are things as well coming and that they're working. that. They're, they're the ones uh, coming soon, yes. So I don't know the exact timing and all that. And time-wise, uh, it's hard to predict right now with the uh, pandemic and all that. It's hard to predict. Uh, we don't know how much those projects were affected, but they're working on this good other project as well. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap it up, Johan, and we're going to let you go now. But I really appreciate you being here. So thank you so much. Well, it was You're my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks to your audience. Thank you very, very much. And please feel free to contact me. Feel free to send me the list of questions. And when you guys visit the Dominican Republic, you know you can count on me. All of, all of everybody here today will have a free consultation through, through courtesy of Eric. Oh, thank you so much, Johan. And once again, I want to give the man props. He's the preeminent Puna Cana Dominican Republic lawyer. And please contact him, contact me. So when you go there, you guys will already know about him a little bit and have correspondence. So when you see him, you can get down to business, especially since it's a free consultation. He's that that's crazy. I charge for consultations. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> no, it's not always free. <laughs> free isn't free. <laughs> it's, it's today we're we're giving it because uh, they join us today, and I'm welcome everybody to come to the Dominican Republic and invest. And I know you have people that will be coming and investing in the Dominican Republic, so I will be more than happy to assist them. Exactly, and so you already know uh, John Batiste is going to be there in like two weeks. Yeah, so he'll be coming to see you. Uh, Ronald Anderson, I don't know. He's supposed to be coming in the next three to four weeks, too. So I got to give him your info. Nice. Right? nice. So I'm going to let you know. Uh, here we go with the thanks, Johan, from Curtis Davis, Mr. Financial. Uh, thank, thank you so much again from Melanie Bonita, Miss 23 Streams of Income. Tanisha Lyle says thank you. Victor Marrero, thank you. Wilson Koo says thank you. 
All right. <laughs> Juvie Lover says thank you. Thank you all. Thank you guys all. Thank you all. all. Right. So good evening, Johan. Good evening. It has been a great pleasure to, to be with you tonight. And thank you. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye.